Hi everybody, this is Patrick, the creator of Doggy Dashboard, and today I'm going to give you a walkthrough of the software. This will show you some of the features, not all of the features, of course, because there's just too many features to show, but this will kind of give you a general idea of how Doggy Dashboard works. So what we're going to do is we're going to start from the very beginning, we're going to sign up for a, an account. So we go here to the top corner, click sign up, and then we click on I am the owner or manager of a pet business, and we're going to say... Patrick Johnson. Our email for our business is going to be, uh, what should we call it? Muddy Paws Daycare at example.com. And then we'll do a password there. And then we'll say Muddy Paws Daycare. And our address is 555 Main Street in Chicago, Illinois. I'm going to type a little bit slower. And then our phone is 555-444-1234. Country is going to be the United States of America. Time zone is going to be central time. And 2 plus 2 equals 4 to make sure we're not a robot. Make sure this email address is correct because Doggy Dashboard is going to send you an email confirmation to this address. If you don't put the correct email there, it will not work. And so let's sign up. An email is going to get sent to us right away. And there it is. We will, it says, hi, Patrick. Thanks for signing up for Doggy Dashboard. Please click this link to confirm your account. So I confirm that. And there we go. It looks like it, the account has been confirmed. So let's log in. I did, it was muddy pause daycare at example.com. And the password was that. There we are. You'll see this little welcome message from yours truly, but we don't really need to see this um, right now. It just gives you steps you can follow right here. Things like creating a pets, creating owners, adding appointments, sending invoices, things like that. So you can read through these when you sign up for your account, but I'm going to make it disappear by logging out. And then I'm going to log back in one more time. Muddy pause daycare at example.com. And then we do the password, and now it should disappear. Perfect. Oh, right now we are on the main Doggy Dashboard account. You can see if we scroll down here, there's a calendar. Nothing on the calendar right now. Uh, if we go here to our databases of, let's go to our pets database, there's no pets in the database. If we go to our own clients database, there's no clients in our database either. Um, so we're going to fill those things in as we go here. But first, let's go up to uh, settings settings account settings and we're going to upload our business logo right where right there so we click the business logo setting we go through here and we'll go to the business logo open it and then we're gonna oh that's the wrong logo this time we want to go back open a different logo let's see which one we have now business logo there oh the muddy paws new logo there it is muddy paws boarding and daycare and we're going to like that. We should be good to go. We'll skip cropping. And then it should show up there in a few seconds. Perfect. So we look good to go. Here is a bunch of options you have for customizing your account. You can do things like showing how you want to see the pets in list view versus picture view. If you want to have things on your dashboard that show you when pets have expired vaccines, not expired vaccines. If you want to have a standard calendar as your homepage calendar, the kennel calendar, a hybrid calendar, you can look through these things when you sign up and you can kind of get a feel of how you want it to work. But we're going to update settings here and then we'll have our logo right there, which looks great. And to add a pet just quickly, we'll just add a new record right here. We'll do client and pet. And we'll say this is going to be Jill Johnson. Phone number is going to be this. And Jill at Johnson.com. And then you can add more information here if you want to. Address city, state, province. So let's add 555 Blue Street from Chicago, Illinois as well. And that's her zip code. She was referred by her cousin Stephanie, uses us. Uh, emergency contact. You can put um, Bill. Jeffries, uh, and then that's his phone number. She'll give that to you when she uh, 
signs up. Additional phone number, you could do a cell phone number here. And then we have some custom owner fields here. These are things you can save, whatever you want to save in these fields. And all you have to do is change this name in the business settings menu. Um, and so you can do that if you want to. For the pet, we'll add a pet. Uh, we'll call this one uh, Roscoe. And it's going to be a bulldog. And Roscoe is going to be a neutered male. Down here, we could add a bunch more things, different types of vaccines that we're tracking, things like that. The birth date, we can say Roscoe was born in November of 2019. His microchip is going to be that. He weighs 25 pounds. His rabies expires, uh, let's say, just to show you how this works, that one there. DBP expires next week. So this one's going to be expiring shortly, and Boratella is expired already. Then we have aggression notes, special needs notes, feeding notes, medication notes, grooming notes, and then a bunch of custom fields as well for pets you can save. You can change this to any name you want by going to your business settings menu. We're going to save that owner and pet, and then let's go to their profile. And there we go. We can see Jill Johnson with her pet Roscoe, and we can click on Roscoe's profile there. And there's Roscoe. He's a bulldog, neutered male. He doesn't look like he has a picture up here yet, so let's go to... We'll go to Pixabay, great website for free images, and we'll type in Bulldog. And let's use let's, uh, let's use this guy right here, this English Bulldog. We're going to save this picture uh, as English Bulldog. Save that. Perfect. Thank you, Pixabay. And now when we upload a picture here, you can upload a picture when you create the pet by going to the the bottom here, you'll see a thing for uploading a pet picture right there. But you can also do it right on their profile by just clicking the Upload Photo button. Click the Upload Photo button there. And then we're going to browse. We're going to select the English Bulldog picture. Let's crop this so we just get just his cute little face. Crop that. Close this there. And now there we go. Roscoe's picture has been saved, and now Roscoe is there. And so now if we want to do something really quickly, let's just save an appointment. Let's say Jill Johnson gives us a call and says, hey, I want to schedule Roscoe uh, for a overnight boarding on next weekend. We go down to our calendar right here. Let's click on Thursday the 10th and say, type, start typing in the name Roscoe. And there it is, Roscoe Jill Miller pops up. Looks like he has some expired vaccines. If we want to, we can click on there and see those vaccines. But she says, let's just drop him off at 10 a.m. on the 10th, and we'll pick him up at on Sunday the 13th at, let's say, 5 p.m. We'll select it's going to be a boarding appointment. Then we can say, do we want to send him a confirmation email? We can send him a confirmation text message. We can uh, assign an employee to them if it's going to be a boarding appointment or a grooming appointment, let's say, and they have a special employee. We can give it to them there. We can put a, a little note here saying, Great little dog, make sure he gets lots of love. You kind of get the idea. Schedule that appointment. And there we go. On the calendar, we have Roscoe arrives at 10 a.m. and then departs at 5 p.m. And then that is how the calendar works. We could also, um, there's a fun thing here called the the new client registration form. This gives your clients the ability to fill out your uh, new client form basically and submit their pet and owner information without you ha not having to do anything. So you'll go to your new client registration form right here. And then this big yellow box, uh, you can read what it says inside there. It basically just tells you how it works. And so this is what you're going to take this link at the top here and you're going to put it on your website or send it to your clients. And then they're going to be able to use this link to submit their pet and their pet and owner information and save you the hassle of having to upload vaccines, having to upload pictures and things like that. So let's just give it a run. Uh, we're going to say that this is going to be the owner is going to be named Josh. And the last name is going to be Miller. We'll do another one of these 555 numbers. And then the email would be joshmiller at example.com. And this is what your client's going to be filling out. They're going to come here from your website and fill this out so you don't have to. 555 Dog Street. They're actually going to be in Des Plaines, Illinois. Illinois there. Get rid of Des Plaines. And then that's the zip code there. And then we can go down here to Family Vet Clinic. We can say Hearts of Gold Vet Clinic. 
and just put a phone number there. And then he has a dog. He has a dog named Luna. Luna's going to be a beautiful little beagle. And she is a spade female. She's going to be brindle, colored. Brindle, type it well. She was born, let's say she was born on the 15th of March of this year. Her rabies is expiring in two weeks. Her DPP expires in a week, and her Boratel expired last week, just so you can see how the vaccine tracking works. We could put more information in here, like feeding and medication. We could say she needs a snack around 2 p.m. And for aggressive behavior, we would say she gets territorial around smaller dogs, whatever we want to. We're going to upload a pet picture here. So this is, the, once again, the pet owner is uploading this on their computer so you don't have to. So they're going to upload this beautiful little beagle. We're going to crop that. And then it says proof of vaccinations right underneath there. And so the picture was uploaded successfully. We're going to upload proof of vaccinations right here, which is, uh, we would do that. That would be a picture of the document if we had it. It looks like we don't have the proof of uh, vaccines ready, but we, the owner can upload that. Um, Let's just make a, a little quick one here. Let's say this is a proof of vaccines. And we're going to go like this. We will export it as a PNG file, entire canvas, and we'll call it Luna Vaccines. There we go. And now we go back here. So now we go back, upload the vaccines, and there they are. Looks like they uploaded correctly. And now we go here, submit this. And now your client just submits the form and they're good. They're all done. They are get a success message saying, thanks, Josh. Muddy Paws will contact you if they require any more information. So that's all done on their side. At the same time, you're going to get an email from Dougie Dashboard saying, potential new client from Dougie Dashboard. And it's going to say show you all the information that they filled out in on the new client form for them and their pets. And then what you can do is click this link to go to Doggy Dashboard, and it'll take you back to your homepage, and you'll see this blinking notification here. We're going to click on that, and it says, Josh Miller submitted your new client registration form with one pet, Luna. Click Take Action to submit uh, to verify the information. So we click Take Action. And if we scroll down here, we can see all the names have been filled in here, the ones that he filled in when he filled out our form. Luna the Beagle, Spade Female, all the dates looking good. And so everything looks nice, picture there. And so we're going to save this client and add them to our, our database. And so Josh Miller was just added there. And now we're going to quickly look over here at Luna. And by now, Luna's picture should be slowly getting updated. It usually takes a few seconds for the picture to get saved. But we'll check the data. Beagle, spade female, March 15th. She's seven months old. Owner, Josh Miller, Hearts of Gold Vet Clinic. So everything looks good. If we scroll down here, her proof of vaccination was uploaded. And if we want to click on that, we can see that there is the blank proof of vaccination records. Uh, obviously, this would be a picture of your client's, uh, of the dog's vaccine records. And if we refresh the page one more time, the dog picture should be there. There she is. There's little Luna, our beagle. And so let's just kind of wrap up this video by showing how to uh, create an invoice for this client. Uh, so let's say Josh Miller calls us and says he wants to have a a boarding appointment for little Luna. Over here, you can see um, the different types of appointment types, boarding, daycare, evaluation, grooming, half day. You can also go here to the new and create your own custom uh, types of appointments. So let's say you want to have one called um, hair and nails. Let's say you're a grooming spot and you want to have a fun thing like this bone icon. Boom. There you go. And now you have one called hair and nails. And when you save it on your calendar, it's going to have the little bone icon. So I'll just show you that real quickly. Let's say we have a, on the 16th, we're going to show all of our pets. And we have Luna from 5 a.m. till 5.30 a.m. And she has the hair and nails. Save that appointment. And there we go. We see Luna with a little bone next to her, so we know exactly what uh, kind of appointment she has. But let's say we want to uh, do that appointment for Luna for, let's do uh, from the 17th to the 24th boarding. So we're going to type in Luna here, and she comes in on the 17th at 6.30 a.m., and she's going to leave on the 24th at 6 p.m., and she's going to be boarding. And we're going to save that appointment. And now if we go here and we click on her appointment, we can click on here down to create invoice, and we can see uh, 
if we need to create an invoice. Um, and so it says, it looks like we need to create some reusable invoice items first. So let's just uh, do that and then we'll come and make this. So we're gonna make an invoice item called overnight boarding, $25. And we'll create that invoice item. And these are gonna show up in these drop down menus down here. I'll get rid of that where we can add things. And then we'll have another one called overnight boarding. We'll have one called nail trim. And that's gonna be $15. And now we're gonna refresh the page here really quickly. And now we're good to go. So we have Josh Miller as our client. The dog is Luna. The due date is going to be, let's say, um, the 30th. And we'll say custom message. Thanks for letting us take care of Luna. Please pay using the links below. And then down here in your payment links, you can put any of your Venmo payment links. You can put your PayPal link. Doggy Dashboard does not offer credit card processing. We let you do that on your own. So just take your payment link from whatever company you're using, put it here. We'll just say we're using Venmo and we'll have that right there. And then for the boarding, it was overnight boarding and it looks like it was seven days and then 11 hours. So we're going to charge them for eight days of boarding. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we get one nail clipping and we put one nail clipping, $215, finalize that invoice. And there you have your invoice for Josh Miller with this nice little uh, logo there. $215 for overnight boarding, eight of them and one nail trim. And here's the note. They would click your link right here. It would take them to your Venmo page. They would pay. And then you would just mark this invoice as paid whenever uh, it gets paid. And then you'll get a nice little paid stamp on there and you'll know it's been paid up and you're good to go. And you can see that this invoice is associated with these pets. And so that's just a very brief rundown of how the software works. There's so much more you can do, but that just gives you a general idea. You can upload tons of documents using business documents, pet documents, or client documents. So if you need to save contracts, or if you need to save vet records, or if you need to save business do documents, there's a whole section of kennel cards, which are these cool little printable cards that show all your pet information that you can print out and tape to your, uh, your kennels. There's an entire kennel calendar if you're a boarding kennel where you need to add kennels. So we'll just do it real quickly. We'll say run one. We're making our runs right now to fill out our calendar. Uh, so let's say where we have a three run place and then we have a cat kennel, cat crate. There we go. We go back to our boarding calendar and now you can see we have three runs in a cat crate. And let's say we wanna put a dog in there. We click there, we type in Luna, go from 6.30, on the 7th until 3.45 on the 11th. And it's going to be a, this can, we can call it a training visit. Let's say she's training. Schedule it. There we go. Now you can see that Luna is inside run one, run two, three, and cat crate are still open. Let's say we want to put a dog in cat crate. The other pet was Roscoe, I believe. Roscoe's not a cat, but you guys get it. I'm just kind of playing here, showing you what it can do. We'll say that's a daycare appointment. Schedule Roscoe. And there you go, Roscoe is now in Cat Crate on Wednesday, November 9th. And so that's how that works. What else can I show you really quickly here? There's a ton of business reports that can show you pretty much anything you want to know about your weekly appointments. There are reports based on all your food medications, pet medications, pet veterinary information, uh, pretty much anything you need to know. Uh, there is a report that you can click to print out and it'll give you a very nice PDF that you can use. Um, there's things called redeemable passes, which are kind of cool. Let's say you want to have a, um, you have drop-in daycare. And so you sell a five pack of drop-in daycare to one of your clients. Let's see who we can sell it to. Jill Johnson, she says, I want to buy 10 daycare drop-offs from you. This is basically like a little punch card. Uh, and so she pays for 10 of these daycare passes. And now when we check in her pet for daycare, we go here and we check in our friend Roscoe. It's going to say, hey, just so you know, she has 10 passes over here available. We'll redeem one of those passes and say, great little dog. Uh, check in the pet. And you can see that Roscoe was checked in, great little dog, and the pass redeemed was a drop-in daycare 10 pack. If we check him out and refresh the page and come back here and check him in again, now you can see there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's no more passes because that one has been redeemed. And if we go here to her database, 
and we go to Jill Johnson and scroll to the bottom to her, her redeemable passes, we can see she has all these passes unredeemed, but she did redeem one on November 8th, 2022, right there. And if we went to Roscoe's profile and checked his redeemable passes, it would show us the same thing that he has uh, one redeemed. And so if we want to redeem another, we go there. We redeem. We can redeem passes whenever we want to. We can unredeem them. If once they're redeemed, you want to archive them so they hide from view, you can. You can delete passes. Um, you can really do so much stuff with Doggy Dashboard. It's really powerful software, but it's also extremely easy to use. It's super simple to get started with. Add a few pets, add a few clients, and just play around with it, get a feel for it, and slowly expand into what else is out there. Um, this has just been a, probably a too long video, I'm sorry, but there's just too much to show you. So hopefully this gave you an idea of how Doggy Dashboard works. If you have questions, email me, patrick at doggydashboard.com or info at doggydashboard.com. Hopefully this video gave you a general idea of what Doggy Dashboard can do. It's great software. Hundreds of businesses are using it. Uh, I'm proud of it. I like it. It works well. And so give it a shot. Use it for a month or two months or three months for free. Hopefully it works for you. Um, and once again, if you have questions, just shoot me an email, info at doggydashboard.com. Thank you very much and have a great afternoon.